the hidden value behind your emotional reactions. Your sense of sight is different from your sense of hearing, and your sense of smell is different from your sense of touch. But even though they are different, they are all vibrational interpretations. In other words, when you approach a hot stove, your sense of sight does not necessarily tell you that the stove is hot. Your sense of hearing and your sense of taste or smell are usually not the way you recognize a hot stove either. But as you approach the stove with your body, the sensors in your skin let you know that the stove is hot. You were born with sensitive, with sensitive evolved, sophisticated translators of vibrations that help you understand and define your experience. And in the same way that you utilize your five physical senses to interpret your physical life experience, you are born with other sensors, your emotions, which are further vibrational interpreters that help you understand in the moment the experiences that you are living. So, in other words, our emotions are guides, right? Sort of like a GPS system. Uh, they let us know when our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions let us know when our thoughts and our feelings are on something that we do not wish to experience or when we are going in the wrong direction. So in other words, if you are feeling, for example, uh, if a person, if you are thinking, if somebody says something to you that is not in alignment with your belief, maybe you they say something that you are, you are not worthy, or you or you or you yourself feel that you are not worthy, and you feel bad. Your emotions are telling you that that's not true, and you are going in the wrong direction because. If it was true when you felt that you were not worthy, then you wouldn't feel bad. So what we have to do is begin to reprogram our unconscious mind, right? Our emotional mind uh, with affirmations or subliminals that will allow us to, uh, begin, to uh, begin to know that we are worthy or whatever desire you are working to experience, right? So you can start saying affirmations like... Uh, if you don't feel worthy, I suggest you not go straight to the point and start saying, I am worthy, because then there's too much resistance. Maybe you just, before you go to sleep at night, you just speak worthy and feel what worthy means to you. Get Catch the feeling, catch the mood, all right? And this is for any concept. It don't have to be worthy. Whatever concept you want to put in there. Uh, if you want to experience more abundance, then and if you, and if you feel like you are uh, poor or you are in a poverty mindset or a poverty emotional state or a po uh, poverty vibration, then before you go to sleep, you can start just speaking the word wealth, really low and with feeling wealth until you fall off to sleep in that state. And what this does is it helps you begin to reprogram your, your emotional mind, your subconscious mind, so that you can begin to experience uh, wealth or um, whatever it is that you desire. So um, just pay attention to your emotions, and when they are um, out of whack, you are going or you are headed in the wrong direction. You are thinking about what you don't want rather than thinking about what you do want. And it's, it's really simple. It takes a conscious awareness. Just switch your awareness, switch your thoughts to what you do desire, and keep them off of the things that you don't want. Do not speak on. Do not give attention. Do not give energy to the things that you do not want to experience because you're going to feel bad. Your emotions are going to let you know that you are going the wrong way. So when you feel good, you are going the right way with your thoughts, with your beliefs, with your ideas, with yourself. So thank you.